Okay, that's two days of soaking in that white container. I spent a day soaking in that bleach water mix. And then it goes into that. And it sits in that and gets watered for two days. And then it goes into this tray. Tray, see all the holes in it. All these holes in there. Put this down here and then pour this mix out. Now, this is only a few squirts of bleach water in this and then a lot of water. And it just soaks for the day from 7, well, from 8 a.m. to about 8 p.m. And then I just rinse these well, swishing them around by hand. You can see all the little particles of debris and little things like that. So I just rinse it all out, rinse some good. A couple of minutes of stirring them around and rinsing it. And this is a mix of field pea, uh, barley, and boss, black oil sunflower. That's the little dots there. Might get a little bit of corn, but uh, if there's any big kernels, I pull them out. If there's any mashed up from the process, I leave them in there. So, rinse out my shower here a little bit, but yeah. So you just do this, rinse them off really well. Get that all little remnants of little particles. You can see as I'm swishing it, all this stuff starts washing out. All the little particles and debris get cleaned out. And then once it's rinsed, I'll put it at the top of the shelf. Clean that up. I'll put it up here on the top of the shelf. Put my shower head back up here. And that'll get rained on for about 10 minutes. And it just passes all the way through and it drips down into here. And you can step closer if you want to see more, show a better view. You can see how the water is coming up here. And then it slowly comes down. And it goes into here. And then it will drip all the way down. And tomorrow, that bottom one there, right, once that one right there is going to be day eight, the morning of day eight. And the rabbits will get that and we'll put it in perspective. That's my hand. So you can see the it's pretty good. You see all the, the good grasses and stuff. I mean, they love this stuff. They like it tall. They like it fresh. It's real thick. And it's really thick and soft. It's not dried out. So, but I'll run that for 10 minutes, 15 minutes at most, and then that'll be it. And I'll do this in the morning at 8 or 9 a.m. And then I'll do it again at 8 or 9 a.m. Uh, 8 or 9 p.m. And we've been doing this for, well, the better part of September or October of last year. We decided to grow the fodder in here because we're doing it outside, which worked great. But we were getting a lot of the chipmunks and squirrels were getting into the garage and getting involved. And if we put the fodder outside, they got inside that and they would climb up and start digging through everything and eating it. It caused problems. So we were taking it out, watering it, putting it back in the garage. And right, right now we're doing a remodel. So we don't have the room in the garage but since October of last year this is how we've been raising our fodder and the rabbits have not been arguing about it at all uh, no complaints to the kids about the fodder so but thought everybody would like this video because everybody seemed to be asking about doing stuff indoors or outdoors and it's been a while since I posted anything so I thought I'd show you guys all this take care